Hey guys, what is going on? Chris Seinog here, retired Navy SEAL and founder of the SEAL training system. And in this video, I wanna teach you why sight alignment is more important than trigger control. Now let's go ahead and get started. Joining me now is retired Navy SEAL sniper, Chris Seinog. So one of the most interesting debates that I see going on online is the debate between what's more important. Is it trigger control or is it sight alignment? And I believe and I hope to show you with some evidence here that it is sight alignment is always going to be more important than trigger control. All right. So first up, let me just exaggerate this so you can quickly grasp why it's more important and hopefully this will click with you if you are on the trigger side of the debate you're either going to look at it and you're going to go oh, you know what that makes sense or you're going to go wait a minute that's that's not right and you'll find some reason why it's not right and i'll go back and hopefully address those after this so i have my handy cert pistol here let's just again exaggerate and talk about this debate and see which one is more important so i am on the side that says making sure that these sights are aligned is more important than how this trigger, well, how my finger moves, right? Because we're talking about trigger finger manipulating that trigger. So if I were to take these sights and say you're my target right here, but my sights are off over here. Remember I said I was going to exaggerate. My sights are not aligned with where I want them to be, but I'm going to caress this trigger so perfectly. It is just going to so smoothly move to the rear until the sear releases and oh, the round went off. But guess what? I missed my target. How can that be? Because I practiced perfect trigger control. I manipulated that trigger so nicely. I didn't pull it, right? Because some people don't like the word pulling the trigger. I didn't push the trigger. I caressed it back to the rear. However I did it, it was perfect. But guess what? These little pieces of metal were not aimed at my target properly. The other side of that would be, I am going to line up these sights perfectly. Again, unfortunately, you're my target here in this one. And I put my gun in a vise and I crank down the vise. So no matter what happens, these sights cannot move, right? Because I am of the school that sight alignment is more important. Now, with this in a vise and my sights perfectly aligned, I could take a stick from over here and just poke at the trigger until the gun goes bang. But because these sights are perfectly aligned and they're not moving, I am going to hit my target. So you guys see the difference over here? Perfect trigger manipulation. Miss my target here. Perfect sight alignment. Do whatever I want to that trigger. It doesn't matter. What matters is that these are aligned. That's what those pieces of metal are up on the top of your firearm for, is to be able to align with your target and be able to hit it. What I need to address is what I talked about earlier. So hopefully you were like, big picture, okay, I got it. Yeah, that is more important. But if you're like, yeah, well, you're not gonna be pointing your gun sideways, well, okay, well, let's just say that I'm pointing in the general direction of my target. I go to press back on the trigger, but as I press back, my gun moves for whatever reason. My grip is not correct. My finger placement is not correct. It doesn't matter the reason, but when I press that back, the gun is moving and my sights become unaligned. So you will hear people say, and maybe you say this yourself, the reason trigger control is so critically important is to, what? what's that saying? What? Yes, to not disturb the sights. People say trigger manipulation, trigger pull, trigger control is so important because you don't want to disturb the sights. So I'm simply saying, guess what? You gave me the argument in your argument, right? So I'm just saying, yeah, let's just not disturb the sights. So it doesn't matter whether it's from your trigger finger or from any other reason, your grip, what's important is your sight alignment. So how do I teach that? Well, I teach people to pull the trigger with your eyes. And it may sound kind of silly at first, but what I mean is when I'm going to shoot, I am using my eyes, obviously, to make sure that my sights are aligned. And what I'm doing, because I've trained so much, my eyes are subconsciously telling my mind, all right, the sights are perfectly aligned. And when my mind hears that, it subconsciously tells my finger that it's safe to move back. 
But if that finger or my grip turns, my eyes are going to detect that and they're going to say, okay, stop moving the trigger. Let's wait till they become aligned again. And then you can start moving that trigger finger again. And that is why this works. All right, that is it for today. Hopefully this demonstration has taught you the importance of sight alignment over trigger control. If you don't believe it, go to a range, test it out yourself. If you're going to point the gun that way, just make sure that is a safe direction as you pull that trigger back perfectly, trying to prove your point. But again, that is it. I hope this has helped you out. And until next time, keep paving your path to perfection. Hey guys, if you like this video and you want to learn more, I put together 20 videos with the best training advice I've learned over the past 25 years of training others. And I want to give those to you absolutely free. Just click on the I card that just popped up or go to chrissynog.com forward slash free videos. And I'll not only send you those 20 free videos, I'll also send you a free PDF copy of my new rules of marksmanship manifesto, which is the framework for everything I teach. So here's what I want you to do right now. Click on the I card or go to chrissynog.com forward slash free videos and I'll see you on the other side.